Okay, so my name is Will Moss. Uh, I am the CEO of HBCU Connect, and I have Ricardo Rodriguez, uh, who recently joined J.P. Morgan Chase and the Card Services team. Um, and Ricardo actually came to one of our um, first in-person events back from COVID that we had uh, in the Philadelphia area uh, with the J.P. Morgan Chase Card Services team. So um, I'm lucky enough to have Ricardo uh, join us real quick for a quick conversation. And the whole purpose is to, to, to just show people that might be behind, you know, Ricardo thinking about coming to one of our recruitment events. Uh, I want to show people that people actually do get hired from these events. And that is the purpose of us having these events. So uh, Ricardo, first of all, I appreciate you taking the time out um, of your schedule just to talk to me uh, and talk about your experience, uh, you know, so far at JP Morgan Chase. And uh, with us, you know, at the recruitment event. So first of all, um, if I can ask, um, you know, where are you from and then how you heard about uh, this J.P. Morgan Chase event that we hosted? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Thank you for having me on. Um, so I'm from really the Philadelphia area, but I was born in Dominican Republic. So I have a, a you know, my background is back in the DR uh, and I heard about the HBCU networking event actually from someone that reached out to me on LinkedIn. Okay. Um, I, I, yeah. So I guess one, well, you know, one of your recruiters uh, viewed my profile. Um, and then when uh, he reached out to me, it was funny because I actually gave him a call right away. Okay. Because I was, you, you know, you get a lot of like fishing. Right. And, you want to make sure it's like legit. And, and I, I called him right away. I was like, hey, is this, uh, is this real? Steve, Steve, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been, uh, you know, because all year I've been thinking about making a switch to finance. So when this opportunity came along, I, f I felt very lucky. So I, I just wanted to uh, verify that it was the that it was real. And, you know, I, I applied and, um, you know, they like my profile uh, and, you know, I, I then got invited to to the networking event. I got the details, the address and, and everything. And it was it was a month ahead. And I pretty much spent that month just studying the business and, and understanding who was all going to be there and preparing questions uh, for when I got there. Awesome. So that's that, that's great that you mentioned that because uh, you took it serious and you came prepared. And I actually remember greeting you when you came in. You were actually one of the first people to show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. that never hurts. That never hurts. <laughs> so, so, no, I appreciate you um, for taking it serious and for for taking making the most out of this uh, opportunity. Um, so tell us a little bit about your background. Like, what were you doing before you came to um, to work at J.P. Morgan Chase? Yeah, so I was in uh, healthcare consulting. Um, so I was working for a company called Cerner, uh, which is an electronic health record vendor. They actually just got bought by Oracle. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I, I I was helping them do a lot of uh, implementation with the different um hospitals and other clients that they had, uh, okay. everything surrounding healthcare technology. Um, okay, I'm yeah, familiar so. with Cerner. We actually have done events for them. <laughs> oh, okay. Then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got some people hired uh, at Cerner before, so. Uh, so no, okay, so that's cool, man. So you, so you had that that background. Um, tell us about your experience and what you thought about the event and that format. Yeah, for sure. So um, the event was was very well done. Um, so you know it was at the Dwayne Reed Building here in Philadelphia, which is a very nice building. Um, and it was structured in a way where. You know, it was actually very productive, right? We, you know, you had the panelists there, pretty much introducing us to everything that they did, um, and then you know, you had a like a breakout session where after the panelists were done, we were able to get food, and then it just sort of opened the floor for conversation with everybody there. So it wasn't just the panelists from J.P. Morgan Chase; there were also recruiters there too. So, um, you know, my biggest concern was that. It was going to be like a free for all. Maybe there's not going to be that many people from JP Morgan Chase. And, you know, with all the candidates there, it was going to be tough getting like a one on one with everybody. But it was not like that at all. Um, maybe it's thanks to you guys or thanks to JP Morgan Chase. But there were enough people that I was able to have a one on one with pretty much, every, you know, every recruiter there and all the panelists there, too. So, um you know, I, I thought that it was very productive and it wasn't really, it wasn't tough to, you know, to, to talk with at least one person there, 
you know, I, I, I thought the setup was really great. So what happened uh, afterwards? I understand you got you got an interview and, and then an offer and then then were hired. But uh, what was the interview process like? And um, and then maybe tell us what you're doing uh, today. Yeah, so uh, um, I applied for the senior associate pr uh, project manager role. Um, and one of the panelists that I met there, his name was Aaron Davis. He, you know, for my conversation with him, he encouraged me to apply. So I applied literally the next day. Um, and then I received a call back next week on Monday uh to schedule an interview so it was it was four interviews four separate interviews throughout the span of like two weeks um it seems like they needed someone really quickly so uh they they pushed me along pretty fast um and yeah so I, I met with one of the vps another project manager and then uh, uh then i had a panel interview with some of the executive directors uh it was it was very challenging uh mostly because you know coming from a project management space, you had to understand agile project management and, uh, you know, pull out examples of managing uh, separate external stakeholders at the same time. So uh, I had to brush up uh, on my skills regarding that. But other than that, you know, it was it was pretty smooth. Um, you know, they were pretty responsive. Uh, so and, you know, it, it happened very fast. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. Good man. So, so you got the offer, and then uh, you accept the position. And so you're a project manager now on uh, which team? Yeah, so I, I'm a project manager in their products team. Okay. Uh, so basically, I work on the Chase app. Okay. Uh, so if you're if you're a Chase customer, you know, such as having a Chase credit card and using the app, I'm one of the people that actually works on the features uh, and any enhancements. Um, you know, when you when you navigate uh, the Chase application, as well as uh, implementing some of their uh, buy now, pay later solutions, such as my Chase plan, which is a lot, which allows you to make big purchases and break them into small uh, monthly installments. Awesome, man. So let me be the first to say, or probably not the first to say, but congratulations <laughs> again, uh, man. Uh, super happy for you. Uh, I had a good feeling when you showed up early, man, at the event. I had a good feeling that uh, that that things would go well for you. So congratulations again. Um, you know, make the most of it. And uh, we hope to see you maybe as a panelist on the J.P. Morgan Chase side uh, at a future event. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I'm so grateful to you guys. Uh, I, this is literally my dream job. <laughs> so uh, and it honestly wouldn't have happened without HBCU Connect and, and you as well, Will. Um, and you know, if I, if I could give like any advice to, to any future, you know, prospects that will come into any of those events, take it seriously. Um, you know, this is, this can get you hired. Uh, and if you come prepared and you have a good attitude, you know, it, it, it will be wonders what, what, what that will do for you. Exactly. Uh, couldn't have said it better, man. So Ricardo, let me, let me thank you again. And uh, best of luck to you. And again, Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. Thank you so much.